everybody, it's Missy again. Today I'm going to show you how to add a signature or a notary image or digital signature to your transcripts. And by that I mean um, you could see this image instead of it just having a line in the typed text, it would have an actual image of your notary stamp or, or your signature. All right, in order to do that, look at the red arrows. Anywhere that you want your signature to appear in the transcript, you need to type underscore signature underscore or underscore notary underscore and that will make um, your signature image and or your notary image appear wherever you tell it to. So within your text file put those and your signature image like this will appear wherever you put that. So let's scroll down a little bit so you can see the notary part underscore notary underscore in lowercase. Anywhere you put that within your text document it will tell the system to import your image. So um, in order to do that, of course, we have to have your images. So let's go over how to prepare those images. So the easiest way is just to sign a piece of paper or put your notary stamp on a piece of paper, but you'll see how you have all this extra space around it. So when you save it to your computer, uh, it'll be just like this. Uh, we need it to be like this, small and cropped. So in order to do that, uh, just upload whatever your scanned in document is. I'm in paint at the moment, so you can just hit select and just select right there around your name, make it a small box and hit crop. And that'll make it like this. Do the same thing with your notary image. So we want it to be small. So now you just need to go up and save that document. Be sure to save it as a JPEG and just name it whatever, Anastasia's signature or Anastasia's notary, whatever you need. Okay, and if you're a reporter, just email that file uh, to your office administrator. They have to do a couple of things with it before you can produce transcripts. Um, and then you can skip to the end of this video and we'll show you the rest. Administrators just need to follow along and I'll show you how to and where you need to upload your uh, reporter's images. So the first thing you'll do as an administrator is go to the reporters tab, choose a reporter, and then down here on the bottom left go to upload files and browse your computer until you uh, find the image that you're looking for. So I'm just going to choose this one. I actually went down to the bottom left and associated it with that reporter. It just makes it really easy for me to find. And then hit start upload. Say OK. Now go back to your reporter tab. And over here on the right, you'll just have, it's already there for me, but just go ahead and choose, just do your drop down, choose the signature that you had, and hit update. Now you'd follow the same procedure if you had a notary block. You just go over here to the notary block and then upload or choose whichever um, image you've done there or a digital signature there. Ignore this block area. That's been disabled for now and it's just being worked on, so uh, just ignore that completely. Go to your signature for image, notary block, and or digital and hit update. All right, so now you should be ready to produce your document. And what you'll need to do is just go over to the job on the calendar. Just click on that to open it. Take a quick look at your assignments. Make sure you have the correct court reporter. Then go down to your documents tab. I've already uploaded the text file, but this is where you would upload the text file. Click on that. So that opens it up and now you're ready for the production portion. So click that and then take a quick look around. This is where you would put all of your normal information that you wanted. But scroll to the bottom and choose the reporter and check off the signature, notary, digital, whatever applies and hit update. So now once your document is produced, uh, your sim signature image will be right where you told it to and your notary image will be right where you told it to by putting underscore notary underscore. Okay, and a quick checklist is to prepare and upload your images to the Reporters tab. Be sure to insert the signature and notary where applicable in your text file. And then upload that text file to your Jobs Document tab. Go ahead and choose Production and complete your normal options that you have there. Just be sure to go down on the bottom right and assign your reporter's name and check off the Include Signature or Notary, Digital, whatever image that you need. 
Okay, if you have any trouble, um, some troubleshooting is this. Your images have to be a fairly same size, so um, about three inches in width for signatures and slightly larger for some notaries. So anything larger than that is either not going to produce or it's going to appear very small in your document. You can uh, work with that a little bit. If you need to, just delete your text file or your image files and re-upload them. Sometimes that'll cure the problem. And also just be sure to use only one underscore before and after and all lowercase letters when you're doing signatures and notaries in your text file. We definitely don't want you to get frustrated, so until you get the hang of it, um, just check out the video again and give us a call if you need to. You can call us directly or email us at the office, Missy, Ashley, or Rick at repagencyworks.com, and we will be happy to help you. Thanks, guys.